Hi, I'm Doug Scheib. I'm the SE Operations Manager. I've been working with SE Guitars since 2000, and I've been with PRS Guitars since 1995. Today we're going to watch Tom Walls, our lead SE inspector, go through the inspection process of an SE guitar. All SE series instruments that ship inside of North America are inspected at our Maryland factory. We have a team of inspectors that will inspect all electric guitars, bass guitars, and our SE series acoustic instruments. Tom's removing the guitar, getting it ready for inspection. Each guitar ships in a moisture barrier bag so it's safer in transport. And the guitar he's getting ready to inspect is one of our custom 24 models with a tremolo. Uh, each guitar requires a little bit different process depending on if it's a stop tail, if it's a bass, it's an acoustic. So it, it's, the process isn't exactly the same for each model. Uh, the process begins uh, with a visual inspection. We're making sure the, the paint looks good, no debris in the finish, uh, no scratches, burns. We want it to look as good as possible. First thing we do is take the truss rod cover off so we can adjust the truss rod. We want to make sure it works properly. That has to work just right or the rest of the setup doesn't really matter a whole lot. So we start there. We want to check the tension on the tuners. Make sure they feel right, not too tight, not too loose. What Tom's doing there is making sure that the lock nuts are tight on the headstock, checking for the fit of the nut, making sure the frets are smooth, not sticking out. Uh, no, not really. Sometimes it just and then put a trem arm in there, check the tension on the trem arm, um, making sure the intonation screws are not loose and making sure that the tremolo moves properly and freely. What he's doing here is checking the height of the plate of the tremolo over top of the body to make sure it has proper clearance. Slight adjustments to the knife edge screws make sure that the tremolo block is level to the body. And then just a quick check of the electronics to make sure it sounds, sounds right. He's tuning it up right here. Also important before doing a, a setup, we want to make sure it's in tune. Otherwise, a tremolo guitar, well, doesn't work too well if you don't tune it first. When Tom's not inspecting guitars, he acts as the mayor of Dobbinsville, Delaware. Little known fact. And what he's doing here is checking the relief. We use a capo and some feeler gauges to do a, a min, min and max spec. Make sure the, uh, the action is just right. It's important to set the, the um, relief on the neck before we do any other adjustments. So once the guitar is tuned and then the, the relief is set, then he'll check the, uh, the other specs. And the reason Tom's putting the capo on the, on the, at the first fret is that it um, negates any issues that may be present with the uh, slots on the nut. We know how high the first fret is, so we adjust off of that. And we'll come back then later and check the, the height of the strings at the first fret. And that's what he's checking right there with the digital gauge. And that shows if the slots need to be deepened it off. If they haven't been cut deep enough, we can go back and, and set that. Really the same process that we do on the U.S. guitars, and the specs are uh, basically the same as well. The goal is to get a, an, an SE guitar that looks and feels like a U.S. guitar as close as possible. We want the experience to be very similar. Guitars come in pretty well set up, but we like to make them just right so that when the dealer receives the guitar, it feels like one of the U.S. guitars. Rechecking the height at the first fret with the digital gauge. 
It's very accurate. It's the, it's the best way we can ensure that every guitar is consistent. And now checking the height at the 12th fret. So again, the, the relief has been set. The first fret action has been set. And now what he's doing there is adjusting each saddle just a little bit to dial it in. In fact, the strings are not set at the same height on each string. It varies slightly. It, the, the action is a little bit higher on the low string, a little, a little tighter on the high E string. If you set the action too low on that, on that big fat string, when it swings in its arc, when you strike it, it'll tend to buzz. So you set the fatter strings a little bit higher than the skinny strings. Checking the relationship of the pickup to the string. If it's too close, it'll cause magnetic interference. It'll create wolf tones. Doesn't sound good. If it's too far away from the strings, it's just weak. So you gotta find that sweet spot and we have a spec for that. Once again, tuning it, stretching the strings is important. Um, new strings always need to be stretched a bit, especially with a tremolo guitar. So we'll tune it and stretch them and do it a couple times. We often hear that guitars arrive from our factory completely in tune and ready to play, and dealers are always amazed at that. We think it's just pretty normal here. No matter where it ships, it should, it should arrive ready to play out of the bag. Checking intonation here. Tom likes to play a lot of notes. He's checking to see if there's any buzz. You hear some buzz if, if the frets aren't level. If the frets aren't level, we can fix it. We can dress the frets as necessary. All right, all the setup is complete. Put the truss rod cover back on, and then a quick wipe down, get all the fingerprints off of it. Want it to, to arrive at the dealer nice and clean. And then a hang tag. Each one is signed and dated by the inspector, just like the US guitars. Got a headstock protector we're going to put on top of the headstock to help protect it during shipping. Warranty card is placed in the bag. Always double check that the tremolo arm is in the bag if it's a tremolo guitar. Truss rod wrench. And it's going to go on the pallet ready to put into inventory. This may not be the last stop for this guitar. On Fridays, we randomly choose three guitars to be inspected by the core guitars quality control folks. In the QC meeting, we use the same specifications when checking the guitars. We do a visual inspection, and then check all the setup specs. It's always been our goal to make SE guitars sound great, play great, and look great, just like our core guitars. Thanks for joining us on this small tour of the SE department.